Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Dirt Road Believer. I am Tina, and we have a drawing to get to. Um, we are wrapping up the month of March. We have been celebrating women all month long that are doing things, that are going after their dreams. And um, last episode, not last episode, but last week, last Tuesday, um, I was at the grand opening of Hayden Taylor Designs, and that is our giveaway for today. We are drawing for the beautiful heart necklace that I showed you last week. So let's go ahead and get to our drawing. I thought I'd do something a little bit different on the drawing today. I'm by myself, so instead of drawing the names, um, I have put all the names in the jewelry bag that the necklace came in and I'm going to hold them high above the necklace and spill them out and whichever one lands on the heart or nearest to the heart is our winner. Let's try it. <laughs> okay so here's our necklace, here's our names, I'm holding it way up high. Sprinkle them all out. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Get out of there. Okay the one that landed closest to the heart is right here. So let's see who won. Who won? Melissa Shamley. Congratulations, Melissa. Thank you to all those who entered to win, and we have one more giveaway today. So stick around till the end and see what you can win today. Hey guys, if you're new to Dirt Road Believer, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a community of believers that is growing every single day, and I invite you to be a part of it. Uh, so whether you uh, love the Word of the Lord, whether you desire to be more in love with the Word of God, this is the place for you because we are growing together and seeking out what God has for us in His Word. You can follow Dirt Road Believer here on YouTube. I invite you to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Also, uh, we have a Facebook group and Instagram. So uh, feel free to become part of the family. We invite you. Um, okay, all month long in March we have been celebrating women and I want to introduce you to a woman today who stays very busy with a t-shirt business out of her home and I have a lot of her t-shirts. This is one, I don't know if you can see it. At the beginning of 2020 when I started teaching my music, um, I was on a cart so this one, if you can see it, says, they see me rolling, hashtag music on a cart. And she, you know, she customizes everything. So she even used my Bitmoji and me. This is actually my cart with all my little items on it. So um, she does great, great work, and her t-shirts feel so good. So before I introduce you to Courtney, I want to give you a little teaser towards April because my next video will be April the 1st. Guys, I have a big announcement coming in April, so don't miss our April the 1st video, which is this Thursday. All right, enjoy this video with Courtney and all her beautiful work, and I'll see you right back here for the devotion. I'm here with Courtney Barnes today and she is the maker of t-shirts tons and tons of t-shirts and she is actually the exclusive designer of my Duro Believer t-shirts so we are here you know all month in March it's Women's History Month so all month we are celebrating women who are going after their dreams and I think this dream kind of just happened real suddenly with Courtney tell us how you got started I just saw where people were doing them, and there are some local people that still do them in town, and I told Chris, I think I can do that, and I had already been doing some vinyl, and vinyl was not for me, and so he said, okay, well, let's figure out what you need to do, so I started doing some research, and then one weekend we went shopping around for printers, and we bought one, and did all the things you needed to do to get it ready, and then I did one one weekend, and then I thought, I really want to start bleaching them, too, and he was like, well, throw it out there. <laughs> So I came out, and I did it, and I posted it, and then it just went from there. It went and viral. It went viral, <laughs> yes. This is Courtney's daughter, Miley, and you'll see Maverick running around in the background, too. <laughs> she is a busy mom of two. She works at my school, too. So all this is in her spare time. Like weekends, you, lots right, of weekends. Like you have a lot of those. Yes. But it's funny because her, her T-shirt business coincided with her stay-at-home orders, and so, like, it went crazy right off the bat, and I don't think it slowed down. It has How many t-shirts are you designing a week? Um, I do about 70-ish a week, if not more. That is and then, crazy. um, 
Lee Centel also helps me like design. She's my design lady if I can't find what I'm looking for. So she you can me. do anything custom, is that right? Yes. So she works with a designer and if there's a design that you want specifically, she works with her designer to make that happen. That's how this was designed. Um, her designer did this this for me and, and she's kind of adapted it. She's done a Christmas one and she's going to do one for Easter. So you can really do anything. What do you do besides t-shirts? Um, really, pretty much sublimation can be done on anything that is polyester because that's what you have to have in order for the design to adhere to the material. It has to be polyester. So really, I can really do anything. I've done some like, little dish towels, um, onesies, uh, baby blankets. Mm -hmm. You could do pillows. As long as it has polyester in the Hey, can I go check out your car? Sure. Can I look at You want to say hey to everybody? You gotta wave right there okay. until everybody, hey. Hey. Get him up, Say hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Do you hey. make t-shirts too, Mo? <laughs> so you have a bleepy t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad you got to be in that. Just don't drive off Can I go? Car. Can I no, go you don't look need... in your car? No, don't you're good. Don't off her car. No, you're good. Can I go look in there? No, Mama said no. You don't need to look in her car. <laughs> I'll get right back out. No, that's so precious, but no. Go up there with Chelsea and Dorian. Hey, he's Hey, so um, where were we? You have to have a polyester blend yes. for it to happen. Okay, well, like back in the 70s, I always thought polyester suits were like itchy you know, and stiff. Itchy yes. and stiff. I don't know what kind of t-shirt this is, but it is the softest. It washes. I've had it this is. for over a year. Yes. Oh, and I, well, that's what I say. That now there are some brands that I that I've learned that I don't necessarily love to bleach because over time when you do wash them, it does seem faded in the bleach areas. So I tried to get away from those. But these that I use, and there are some that I do that are 100% polyester when I'm not bleaching, and they are so soft too. So, but when I do bleach, I have a cotton and polyester blend that I like to stick with. Oh, okay. I just love the t-shirts because yeah. they feel so good. All right, Courtney, so if somebody wants to order a t-shirt, how do they get in touch with you? Um, really, right now, I've, th I've played with the idea of having a Facebook page that was like business, but I don't really have a business page yet. So really, the best way to reach me is just my personal Facebook page, Courtney Barnes. Courtney Barnes, and I'm sure she has lots of pictures of her designs. I do. I post everything. Good. Well, we are going to take a look at some of her great work and let her talk about the process. Thanks, Courtney. Thank you. So Molly made her own Easter t-shirt that is so cute. The little bunny rabbit. So tell us the process you go through to make these. So of course people place the orders and then I order the t-shirts. And once the t-shirts get here, I start printing the designs. And so once I get all the designs printed, um, I have to press every shirt as well. And so normally my presser is Corey. He likes to press my shirts for me. <laughs> He does all my shirts. Corey's the, Corey's the hub. Okay, here's my favorite one right here. That's awesome. <laughs> we had a subscriber order one. Yay. So, um, once we press them, um, then I wait for the weather because the weather plays into the bleaching process. Um, if it's not bleaching, then it's fine. It can go that day. I can get them home to whoever they're going to. But if they need to be bleached, then um, I wait for at least a little bit of sun because it can be it can be a little cloudy, but the sun's the best. And then I just kind of play. I can fold them different ways to get different patterns. You can see there's some different mm -hmm. pattern to it. Do you ever do like team shirts or family reunions, like yes. big orders? Um, yes, yes. That's cute. Yes. A lot can happen in three days. It sure can. Did Lee design that one? She did not. You do a lot of faith t-shirts, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. That That's cool. And here are her supplies, her oh. tools. What's the paintbrush for? Um, I painted I that one. See this one? Oh, oh cool! So what are your most popular designs right now? Um, for the women, most of it's like the cheetahs, mom life. Um, right now you're in like all the um, 
team sports, baseball, soccer, softball, tennis. I'm doing some of that this week too. So it's lots of the uh, um, athletic wear. Um, my faith designs are really popular that we do. Um, the ones that are like with the woman with the glasses, like the hashtag uh -huh. and whatever you, whatever you want to hashtag it. Those are really popular. So those are, those are some of the popular things right now. Thanks so much, Courtney. Um, I had a great time at your house that day. And Molly, congratulations. You have made it on your first YouTube video. I'm glad I could help make that dream come true for you. <laughs> we had so much fun together. And um, Molly just kept reiterating that she was so excited to be on YouTube. So, um, thanks again. Um, I am really involved with children, as you have heard me talk about before. I teach children at school. I teach children at church. I have my own children. And there is a little child who has come to the past, the past two times I have taught children's church at church. There has been a little boy that has come, and I just, um, I have just fallen in love with this little boy. Like, I would put him in my pocket and bring him home if I could. His name is Cooper, and one of the things I love about teaching children is you never know what is going to happen. You could have the same kids in the same room teaching the same lesson, and it's going to be totally different because, you you know, with kids, you just never know. So, little Cooper, he just, he's probably like four, maybe five years old, and he really just pays attention. I mean, he's all, he's looking at you. He's soaking in everything that you have to say. And this particular lesson that I was teaching was about the voices you can trust in your life. And you know, they were they, you can trust your mommy, you can trust your daddy, you can trust your teachers, you can trust. You know, they were going down the whole list of everyone whose voice you can trust. And of course, you know, the. What we were getting to is the voice that we trust the most is Jesus' voice. And he, he was just listening and listening and listening. And then we got towards the end and Cooper raises his little hand and he said, How, how can I hear Jesus' voice if I can't see him? <laughs> and he was just so sincere. And I feel like even as adults, you know, it, the scriptures tell us, Come, come to Jesus as a little child would, and and it's those questions that we just are so sincere about. And you know, I've heard myself as an adult asking that very same question, and I think it's a wonderful question. I think it's a wonderful question for wherever you are in the faith, no matter how immature or how mature you are to the faith. Um, I think adults we find ourselves asking the same thing Cooper asked. Now, how, how do I hear Jesus? I mean, I, I can't see him. So I said to Cooper, I said, Cooper, well, I really asked all the kids, I said, if your mom or dad were outside of that door, we had a door that led into the room that was closed. I said, if your mama or daddy were standing outside that door and we heard a voice say, church is over, would you know that that was your mommy or your daddy? And of course, all the kids, yes, yes, I would know. I would know. I said, but you can't see them, so how would you know? Well, because I know what they sound like. And for Christians, it is the same. As children of God, we grow accustomed to the voice of love and authority in our life. And I explained to Cooper, there are many, many ways that we become accustomed to the voice of Jesus as we grow in Him and mature in Him. And one of those ways is through prayer, through praise, um, through the people that he puts in our lives, um, through knowing his word. That is a direct, this right here, directly God speaking to us. We have to be rooted in his word to hear him. And through his spirit that he deposits in us. Think about, you know, the spirit of Christ is living in you. And Jesus Christ is sitting on the throne. God the Father is in heaven. And they communicate with each other. And because we have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, we get to hear and be a part of those conversations. 
And there are just so many ways that God speaks to us every day. He never, ever stops speaking. He speaks every day. But the issue is, are we listening? Are we attuning our ear to what Jesus is saying? Um, a lot of a lot of things get in the way of that signal. You know, it's like um, riding down the road with the radio on. And the further we get from that tower, that radio signal, the fuzzier it gets. Sometimes the further away we get from God in um, our daily practices, the fuzzier that signal gets and we have a hard time hearing what He's saying to us, even if it's right there in front of us. So, did you know this? Did you know that we are actually designed to communicate with God? God designed us in mind that he wanted to communicate with us and faith remember that verse faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God he made you to hear him so why is it so difficult to hear him sometimes I think that the best illustration I can give you is this um, there are two identical twin boys and one of these um, one of these twins wrestled, was in the sport of wrestling, and one did not wrestle. And the one who wrestled spent season after season cutting weight, starving himself from middle school all the way through high school. He when it got time to you know, wrestle, he was just cutting weight in a very unhealthy way and starving himself really. And what's interesting is when these twins reached adulthood, the twin who did not wrestle grew three inches taller than the twin who wrestled. And that, that's a true story. Um, identical DNA, but one set of genes were fully able to express themselves because they were nurtured properly and not starved. The same is true with believers, guys. The design is in place. And the, the design is to grow fully and um, in full expression so that the voice can be heard. But if we starve ourselves along the way from a relationship with Jesus, then we never grow to full maturity. That voice is not heard. He never stops speaking. Never stops speaking. But his expressions are not fully realized because there's just too much static in the signal. There's too much starvation from those practices that I, I told Cooper about. Prayer, praise, reading your Bible, um, being in fellowship with fellow believers. So if you feel like that you haven't heard from the Lord in a while, begin to spend more time with Him by yourself um, in His Word, in prayer, in praise and thanksgiving. And then the signal becomes a little clearer and you become attuned and you begin looking for and listening for all the ways that God is speaking to you each and every day because he's never stopped he's still putting people in your lives he's still putting um, feelings in your spirit he's still giving you dreams he's still answering your prayers that has never stopped um, I'm just so thankful that God spoke to me through little Cooper that day. I just think he is just the cutest, cutest thing you would too if you saw him. He's just cute as a button. Um, I even had a chance to pray with Cooper before he left that day and I asked God to grow him to hear his voice more and more as he grows. Just precious, precious. So coming up in April guys, Mm, I told you I have an announcement, so please do not miss April 1st. You don't want to miss this announcement, so please join me. And, um, okay, I guess it's time to tell you how you can enter to win the t-shirt from Courtney. Um, all you have to do, remember you're going to to find her to um, order shirts or get a design together. Um, it's Courtney Barnes on Facebook so all you have to do is comment either on YouTube or Facebook comment Courtney Barnes 
and uh, you will be entered to win that drawing. All right, guys, that's it for today. Have a great day, guys, and until next time, slow down. Take the dirt, baby. Believer.